Encampments have been a challenge for several years, uh, only seemingly growing more challenging year after year and more visible. Instead of sheltering transit riders, some bus shelters in Winnipeg have now become makeshift shelters for the homeless. Now the city is reviewing the public hoarding bylaw to address this growing issue. We've had fires in these transit shelters through you know materials being stocked up after people have, um, have potentially uh, played with the wiring of the, the low heat uh, sensors that are in these shelters. Transcona City Councillor Sean Nason plans to discuss a motion to amend the Neighbourhood Livability Bylaw next week at the City's committee meeting. The motion includes restrictions on public courting in public areas like bus shelters and encampments in an attempt to prevent fire hazards. Now the heat that's in these shelters, my understanding is not to keep people warm. It's to keep the frost off the, off the glass, to keep it translucent. Um, but you know, it's just, you know, we see these visible piles of, uh, where people are collecting their goods, sometimes in mass amounts of garbage bags. The councillor says he plans on collaborating with social services like St. Boniface Street Links and the Main Street Project to help provide persons experiencing homelessness the resources and support they need. You know, the end goal is to help individuals that are on the street uh, to do what we can to minimize the, you know, the impacts and long-term damage that you know, um, a lot of these individuals are, are exposed to substances that are not good for for healthy living, you know, be it the solvents or, or hard drugs. So we, we've got to do what we can to, to try to affect positive change. The president of the transit union believes it's about time the city addresses the issue. I think that prevention is the key here. If you prevent people from... Uh, uh, using the bus shelter uh, as, a, as a temporary home, then uh, we won't be dealing with the consequences. Ignacio says he and his workers have witnessed the worst in bus shelters, from garbage, needles, to human feces. I mean, you, you'd be surprised at how many, uh, 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 how much we've seen in the last two, three months. And, you know, it's... Uh, Again, disgusting, but uh, somebody has to solve this problem. So I'm glad that they're doing something. If they need uh, social services, they should be given social services. If they uh, need um, homes, uh, there should be, uh, you know, um, homes for them. City News reached out to St. Bonaventure Street Links to get their take on the situation, but they did not get back to us in time for the story. In Winnipeg, Brianna Marcello, City News.